Grace and Peace, welcome back to episode two of the Sabbatical House. On this episode, I'll be answering a question that I get so much. The question is, I just got saved, now what? So in my walk with Christ, I realized that after I got saved, I thought that everything, or I didn't realize, I thought that after I got saved, everything was going to be just perfect, that I wouldn't go through anything, that all of my troubles and things were behind me. But boy, oh boy, was I wrong. <laughs> I realized that me accepting Christ into my life was just the first step. So I encourage you, if you have recently um, given your life over to Christ, if you've re recently became a part of the kingdom of God, then number one, I would say, get a Bible, get a Bible or download the Bible app. But for me, I would say definitely get a Bible. You can definitely use the app as you're coming and going and as you're on the move. But the Bible will definitely, there's something about flipping those pages, being able to highlight different things as you're learning on your journey, whether you're starting your journey um, brand new now or whether you're like, you know what, I want to grow stronger in, in my relationship with, um, with God. Second thing I would say is to find a support system. It could be one person, a group of people, a small group of people, but find some type of support system. If you recently joined um, a, a local church, I'm pretty sure there may be like a small group that you are able to participate in. Um, or there may be a mentor or someone who can help answer those questions because as you're diving deep into the word um, You will have some questions and of course the Holy Spirit will help lead you through some of those things But having a support system is definitely great for you And the third thing I would say is begin to pray Sometimes, you know, when we are new in our faith or renewing our walk with God, we are we think that we have to pray with these arts and vows and these and and sound so sophisticated. But prayer is just a simple communication between us and our Heavenly Father. So sometimes I may, you know, go into a prayer, you know, reading scripture. Sometimes I just may pause in my day and just say, thank you, God. Sometimes I may pause in my day and say, you know what, Jesus, I really need your help today. So just as a recap, if you've recently gotten saved or recently renewed your, your walk of faith with God, I encourage you to number one, get a Bible and read your Bible. Number two, have a support system. And number three, begin your prayer life. Because as you begin that prayer life, things will definitely change. Thank you.